Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's per video. Go to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's per video day 10 or 10 to 24th of July. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XNCFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. Next four weeks gets us into August. The main focus of this video though will be on very extreme heat, I think it's fair to say, coming up early next week. Couple of days, Monday, Tuesday when we could have some truly historic weather. And I will talk you through all of the data uh, on that uh, in a moment. You're going to see some absolutely remarkable and historic charts. So I'll get on, get on, get on that in a second. Just say first, VSA was our 6 a.m. upload, and we've also released uh, the European Outlook as well. So please check out those two videos if you'd like to see that. Please like, share, subscribe on this. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And I hope you're having a lovely Thursday as well. Right, well, we'll do it then, uh, or do it even. Uh, so we're going to start off with the uh, GFS Upper Air Temperature Amplification Ensembles uh, for London, based on the Midnight GFS run. So uh, the red line is a 30-year Upper Air Temperature Average for London. We're actually a little bit below average at the moment. Uh, so it has cooled down, it has freshened up. Across most parts of the country. However, from around Sunday onwards, we see the upper air temperatures absolutely uh, spiking up, heat spike on the way. And um, the peak of this is through the early part of next week, again, dates from the bottom of the chart, early part of next week, where the GFS ensemble mean, uh, the white line, is now going uh, well above 20 degrees. Uh, 858 PA. So the GFS ensembles have shifted in a hotter direction overnight through the early part of next week. Some of these ensemble members on the midnight suite are making it up to plus 25 degrees at 858 PA. Most notably, that one, which actually goes uh, several degrees above 25 degrees at 858 PA. So that is uh, absolutely historic uh, heat. You know, if that comes off, we get 25 degrees at 838 PA. We're almost certainly going to get 40 degrees on the surface. Relatively quick cool down. So through the middle and second half next week, we see the upper air temperatures retain back closer to the long-term average. Uh, however, the green line is the operational, midnight operation run. That remains pretty warm throughout most of the, uh, throughout most of it. So, so more warm or hot weather to come as we go uh towards the final week uh, of, uh, of July, potentially. Fire precipitation is concerned. Uh, lots of dry weather over the next few days. As it cools down from heat spike, there might be some fun. It doesn't look classic for the southeast corner anyway, but there might be a fun breakdown. And then after that, perhaps a little bit more showering through the last week of uh, July. Now, have a look at the GFS 6Z ensemble, which is currently updating and coming out. And uh, the 6Z is actually upgrading things even more with this heat spike. So uh, now the ensemble mean, the white line getting even closer to 25 degrees at 850 HPA. Uh, more of those GFS ensemble members actually reaching 25 degrees at 850 HPA. So uh, the six egg suite, and remember this is just a bit updating now, so it's not fully out yet, but the six egg suite for the, uh, for the temperature spike anyway, is actually a little bit hotter on the six egg compared to the midnight GFS run. Um, we see uh, more of those on some members getting closer, 25 degrees uh, at 850 HPA. So the chance of 40 degrees is probably increasing as, uh, as we're going closer to this, rather than decreasing the chance of 40 degrees early next week. It's an outside bet, I think, but chance of 40 degrees either Monday or Tuesday or maybe both days. Uh, the chance of that happening is actually increasing here, I think, as we're getting closer to this, rather than decreasing which is not what a lot of people would have, would have expected to happen. Temperature anomalies from the 14th to 22nd of July are coming out very substantially above average, not just the UK, but for most parts of uh, Western Europe as well. Um, precipitation anomalies from the 14th to 22nd of July are significantly drier than average in all areas. The latest wind flow map from Earth, Nordschool.net, shows that we are bringing fresher winds from off the Atlantic today, so much more comfortable even down in the south, things have finally freshened up. 
Right, we're going to start going through some chart data uh, now. So you're going to see some pretty historic uh, charts, uh, I think. Let's start off with the uh, UK Met Office. There, Mr. Midnight on certainly high pressing over to the east of the country, pulling in these very warm or hot southerly winds. As we go from Sunday to Monday, that high pressure centres over Germany. Funds the air road pressure beginning to develop around a bit of Biscay. And again, that pulls up those very, very hot southerly winds. That's a plus 20 Celsius isotherm there into the south southwest country at midnight on Monday. Into that run of very, very hot air, uh, hot dome, heat dome, if you like, pushing out of France on those southerly winds as we go from Monday and Tuesday. Look at those upper air temperatures. We've just about made it to plus 25 degrees, uh, 850 kPa across the far southwest of the country, I think. Um, so going from red to pink uh, tells us that this is an extremely hot air mass that is surging northwards with the UK Met Euro run through the early part of next week. It does trigger a thundery area of low pressure as that heat and humidity clashes with the cooler air trying to come in from off the Atlantic. It develops a, uh, a thundery area of low pressure, so there is a breakdown to this extreme heat through the middle part of next week. That's midnight on Wednesday when that extreme heat is being shunted out into the North Sea and uh, less hot air coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. And then by the time we get through this time next week, we're into a cooler run of northwestern winds, looking uh, much more, uh, much fresher then. You know, upper air temperatures much more comfortable by that point. Now, this is the temperature forecast based on that UK Met Euro run from the Weather Outlook. So this is 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Not excessively hot, just very warm. Uh, temperatures around 27, 28 degrees and go through into uh, Sunday night, Monday morning. Temperatures don't really drop much out of the uh, 20s, really. So hovering around the upper teens to low 20s across uh, most parts of the country. That leads us into a very, very hot day on Monday. This is the temperature forecast from uh, UK Met for Monday for in, in the afternoon. Widespread temperatures uh, of 36, 37 degrees. That's about 100 Fahrenheit uh, in uh, in old money there through central parts of England. Uh, overnight, Monday into Tuesday, uh, absolutely incredible. Like London is not, this is 3 a.m. Tuesday, London is not dropping below 30 degrees. This is a dangerous level of heat, you know, there that this will cause severe heat stress in, uh, in, in in some people. So London not dropping below 30 degrees. Widespread temperatures through central England there of like mid-20s at 3am, uh, 25, 26, 27 degrees there through, through the Midlands, for example. Uh, and then we go on into Tuesday itself. At 9am, we're already, this is 9am in the morning, already at like 30 31, 32, 33, and uh, it peaks actually as we go uh, through Tuesday afternoon, um, where some eastern areas are going to like 40 degrees. We've gone gone up to 40 degrees there, which is 105 Fahrenheit, I think, uh, across these eastern parts of the country. That is completely and utterly outstanding. Uh, I think it's around 103 Fahrenheit. But it's absolutely outstanding, uh, that temperature forecast. It, it is historic uh, and, and, you know, would be very, very dangerous uh, as well. Uh, out west, you begin to turn a little bit cooler as that fungi low gets ever closer. As we go into Tuesday uh, night and into Wednesday morning, we find those much cooler green colours coming in from off the uh, Atlantic, so Wednesday is a cooler and fresher day, really, across most parts of the country. It's still pretty warm in the east, still in mid-20 Celsius, but nowhere near as extreme. So Monday, Tuesday, uh, and then by Wednesday, it, it, uh, it's gone. It's our icon. It's an absolutely incredible UK Met Euro run. Uh, icon looks like this. Again, high pressure is over to the east of the country, on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, uh, high pressure ridges are wet or situated east. We pull up these really hot southerly winds as the upper air temperatures may look really quite extreme 
Cosmos Barts approaching on uh, Tuesday. The fungi area of low pressures melts through the country, triggered by that heat and humidity, sweeps away the heat and turns things uh, a lot cooler and uh, fresher. That's going to build the second half of next week. We're into a run of northwest. We have a temperature forecast based on the icon run from weather outlook, not as extreme for Monday. Can't say what happens on Tuesday. I don't think it's going to get to that. I think it's rather we get to is going to be 6 a.m. Tuesday morning. But on Monday, it's forecasting temperatures around 36, 37. Whether we will go uh, to 40 degrees on Tuesday, um, you know, uh, we can't say because it doesn't go quite that far. Uh, we can say that overnight, uh, uh, we, uh, Monday to Tuesday, we don't see the temperature falling much lower. It's again 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, on Tuesday, we don't see the temperature falling much lower than like mid to upper 20 Celsius widely across uh, England and, and Wales. So, again, very extreme minimum temperatures, very minimum, very extreme minimum temperatures overnight, uh, overnight, um, Monday into Tuesday. Right, let's carry on. Mr. Abishev's midnight run is looking so once more high pressure sitting over and to the east of the country on uh, Sunday, and then that slips away to the east as we get through into over the next week. That drags up this very hot air uh, from the south. So there's the heat dome surging northwards from North Africa and Spain triggers this fungi area of low pressure, but being heavy showers and first ones to catch out locally is out of the way. A rich building back in from off the Atlantic returns us to mostly dry weather through the second half of next week, but will be a lot cooler going to that area of high pressure, a lot fresher. Um, up to day 10, high pressure in control begins to start pulling heat back in from off the continent again, uh, if anything. So uh, by the 25th of July, just beyond day 10, we've actually got wind back in like a southeasterly direction. We're pulling hot air back up from uh, France once again. So other air temperatures really pushing up again in the extended range, plus 20 cells iceberg is getting very close to south east. Notice it's baking hot really still across most parts of the continent. Um, so, so we're never going to be all that far away from extreme heat by the look of it, even into the final week of the month. Fungi area of low pressure there, so sitting over the country as we go through the middle part of uh, next week. Before that, uh, the middle part of what I'm talking about, fungi area of low pressure is sitting over the top of the country as we go through the middle part of the final week of July, and then that gets our way a ridge building from the north and the northwest. This is the temperature forecast based on that GFS midnight run for maximum temperature on Monday, um, like 36, 37 degrees, perhaps up to 38 degrees in parts of East Sang, that's about 100 Fahrenheit. And uh, then Tuesday, again, uh, looking like that, with maximum temperatures around 37, 38 degrees, so just shy of, of those um, 39 and 40 degree temperatures that we saw with the UK Met run. Uh, this is how the GFS 6 says is looking. So again, the high pressure over to the east of the country on Sunday, pulling up this very, very warm or hot southerly or southeasterly wind. And into the next week, the heat, Dome surges north as well. Triggers this fungi low. How high it gets on Tuesday will be determined by this low pressure and how quickly its heavy showers and storms advance across the country. So if it happens quickly, if like this low develops quickly, then that will limit the temperature potential on Tuesday. Conversely, though, if this happens slowly, then then certainly east areas anyway have uh, have a very very hot day. Uh, again on Tuesday. There's the upper air temperatures for Tuesday. So again, we've just about made it to, made, made it to uh, plus 25 Celsius in the south with the plus 25 Celsius isotherm there. Plus 20 Celsius isotherm has got up into Scotland. Again, truly remarkable and historic charts. And then this foundry area of low pressure routes from Tuesday to Wednesday uh, takes risk of storms across the country perhaps particularly in more northern areas, actually, and begins to lower the temperature as we go into the middle next week, the extreme heat being pushed off into uh, the continent. We then go back into high pressure, but it's, uh, it's a cooler area of high pressure as we go to, like, day 7, 8, 9, 10, but probably been quite a bit dry weather with it. And then the more extreme range of GFS 6 then turns more unsettled with low pressure meandering in from off the Atlantic Ocean. This is the temperature forecast 
uh, from the GFS run for uh, Monday. So this is uh, 6 o'clock in the evening on Monday. Again, it looks extremely hot. Temperatures around 37 or 38 degrees. And actually, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we could be up to like 40 degrees across parts of East Anglia. 39, 40 degrees there. East Bidens into East Anglia. So the GFS is back to predicting like 40 degree temperatures. Overnight temperatures from um, Monday to Tuesday, again, not falling much out of the mid to upper 20s. So it's got 28 degrees there in London, um, like 25 through the Midlands, 29 over here in the far west, southwest of Wales. Uh, extraordinary temperatures once again. And then uh, Tuesday sees uh, maximum temperatures in the east going above 40 degrees, so 39 to 41 up the eastern side of the country on Tuesday. Um, that does start to ease back a little bit later on by 3 in the afternoon. We begin to start advancing in something slightly less hot from the far west and southwest. But even then, those uh, extreme eastern counties are still up to 40 or 41 degrees. Truly remarkable and historic charts that we are seeing here. And remember, this is just a few days away now. So, you know, actually the models are getting hotter uh, as we're getting closer to Monday and Tuesday. Rather than, rather than downgrading it, they're actually upgrading the heat potential today. That may not continue. We may see downgrades as we get to tomorrow and into the weekend. But today, Thursday, the models are actually upgrading the heat potential for Monday and for Tuesday, which uh, is quite unusual, to say the least. If you enjoyed this video, then please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let's talk about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, GM, again, showing high pressure over the top of the country on Sunday, and then easing its way east was pulling up this really hot southerly southeasterly. As you go through uh, part of next week, again, between South Iceland, as with all mole output today, surging northwards into Northern Ireland and some parts of Scotland on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, this fungi area of low pressure is the upshot of that heat and humidity, which sweeps away the heat and uh, turns us cooler after probably thunderstorms, but again, that remains to be seen. Uh, into the second half of next week, high pressure sort of comes back, reestablishes, takes back to dry weather, but it will be cooler and fresher under that area of high pressure by day to perhaps hinting, getting a little bit more unsettled. And then the ECMWF, once more, is looking like that. High pressure is over and to the east of the country from uh, weekend into the area of next week, brings up that extremely hot dome of air from uh, France. Fungi low develops late Tuesday into Wednesday. And that sweeps away the heat and the humidity. Uh, so hints of fungi break down how much fungi there is remains to be seen. And then we're back to high pressure, so lots of dry and warm weather then uh, once that fungi load gets out of the way. Uh, and we go into weekends of the 23rd, 24th of July. Within, uh, it's back to warm dry weather, but not extreme hot uh, temperatures. That is a uh, cooler sort of ridge. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Lots of dry weather in the south. We'll be more showering further north. And then that's the risk of uh, thunder as we get through towards the middle of next week. We might get some thunderstorms um, and, and that's to be determined a little bit closer to the time frame. Other than that, though, it's going to be lots of dry weather over the next 10 days. We shall be options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which gets to 24th of July. 20 members of the ECM Ensemble have high pressure to our west and northwest, and probably some sort of trough to the east. So, it should be a lot of dry weather with that, but a little bit cooler. Uh, 15 have a ridge building in from off the Atlantic into West Europe. Again, lots of dry and um, pretty warm weather. 10 with high pressure again to our west and also to our southwest. And 6 with high pressure again ridging in from off the Atlantic into western parts of uh, Europe as well. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets 29th of July, 26 members of ECL and Sons with low pressure just to our west. They're looking cool and showery. 15 with low pressure to the north, northwest. Again, in comes that westy wind. And then 10 with high pressure just slightly to the east of the country. And that may start to bring up some warmer air from the south. That might start to. Um, uh, hotter again from uh, off the continent. CFSB2 looks like this. Uh, 500 millibar high temperature bring down to the pitch. First week pitch taxes from the 14th to 20th of July under high pressure, mostly dry, very warm, 
and uh, Heart Week 2 is also 21st, 27th of July and looks mainly dry and potentially very warm or hot as well. Week 3 is going to be the 28th of July to the 3rd of August with a troughing over Scandinavia, a ridge out into the Atlantic and into some parts of France. So that's going to try and turn things cooler. That ridge over France is going to try to bring warmer air up from the south, so that might be a bit of a battle type scenario actually could result in it was rain even perhaps and then uh week four is going to be the fourth to the 10th of august with a trough over scandinavia ridge in the atlantic ridge across southern parts of europe as well so it's all going on there a little bit complicated but probably rather cooler and, and more showery perhaps but um it's a long way off. Last thing I'll leave you with is the high-resolution UKV model from the Weather Outlook. So this is about the highest res model that, that we've got to go at. Uh, temperature forecast again, coming back to like what's going to happen early next week. So this is um, temperature forecast for 3 in the afternoon on Sunday. Again, widespread temperatures of like 29, 30, 31 meters. So standard hot day on, uh, on Tuesday. That is, uh, and then that's Monday, so uh, we see temperatures then with UKV being predicted to go to 37, 38, 39. Through central parts of England, we have got a couple of 40s there as well. We've got a 40 around Lincolnshire. Uh, we've got a 40 through East Anglia just there uh, as well. So uh, UKV predicting temperatures to go to 40 degrees on Monday and then quite what would happen uh, as we go from um, as we go from Monday to Tuesday again very very hard take because we don't go any further than that that's the overnight temperature that's a minimum temperature at 3 a.m actually we go here that's a minimum temperature at uh, 3 a.m um, from UKV 3am on Tuesday, Sherman again, temperatures are holding up overnight in the mid-20s Celsius, maybe even upper 20s Celsius, 27 there, for example, in central London, temperatures holding up in the mid to upper 20s Celsius widely across much of England and Wales overnight, Monday into Tuesday, which will get Tuesday off to an extremely hot start, you would have a temperature over 30 degrees by sort of 9 a.m. on Tuesday. So unless storms or something break out, um, then Tuesday will be a very, very, very hot day if uh, that's right after such a warm temperature overnight. Completely compelling, uh, remarkable, but also quite frightening, I think. Um, and, and, you know, these, these are very, very, very extreme charts it goes about saying that we will be keeping you posted about this at gas webis if you are worried about this then um please uh, check out the uh, weather alerts at the uk Met. obviously they have got weather alerts on sunday monday and tuesday for this seat wave and uh and you can get some advice there um you know if you're worried about your health and safety or whatnot right so uh we're done then what a video that is um there we go. You, you know, go by what the data is showing, you know. So so I know there will be people in the comments that are very alarmed about this. I'm a little bit alarmed about it myself, you know. But you can only go by what the data is showing. And the data is stacking up. But actually, today, might change tomorrow, but today the data has stacked up so that the chance of, like, 40 degrees actually increased today compared to the last couple of days where the model app was seen to back away from it. It's actually increased the possibility of like that 25 Celsius upper air temperature and possibly 40 degrees on the surface. Still a little way to go, hopefully. I mean, keep your fingers crossed it's going to downgrade because I don't want 40 degrees myself, you know. So hopefully this will downgrade ultimately and we'll have like just um, mid, to upper, I mean, say just mid to upper thirties is still even then going to be very hard. Uh, so, so um, even if that happens, you know, that will still be really, really hot for 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 this country. But um, we'll just see what happens and where it all goes. Right. So that's it for today's videos. Uh, tomorrow uh, we're going to have six AM forecast. We'll have JMA Friday and a ten to fourteen day. 
with all of the latest heat wave developments too. Please like, share, subscribe on the videos. We've only got to put on around another 60 subscribers now to get to uh, 14k. So please give us a sub. Thank you so much for doing that. Enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday. Uh, and for this one, that's all for now though. And thanks for watching.